This is the Axiom 49 from M Audio. It is a MIDI controller that I have hooked up to my MV8800 over here. The MV8800 is uh, tuned in to a bass patch that I'm controlling from this controller, sending MIDI messages to it. I would, I've got this bass part that I would like to play with my left hand. Um, however, the pitch bend and modulation wheels that I need to uh, use to make, simulate a real sound and bass effect are over on the, on the left hand side and I don't want to cross over with my hand. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to program this MIDI controller to use these particular sliders to, do, to send uh, the pitch bend and modulation messages to my MV8800. MIDI messages are broken up into individual little chunks called bytes. Each byte represents some piece of information that you would like to send to a MIDI device. In the case of what I'm trying to accomplish right now, I'd like to send a message that represents a pitch bend. The first byte in, in a MIDI message is called a status byte. The status byte just basically says, hey, listen up, instrument, um, I'm sending you this particular type of information. In my case, I'm sending a pitch bend status byte. When a pitch bend status message is sent, it sends along an additional piece of information called a data byte, and that data byte is simply a number that says, hey, I want you to bend this note in one direction or another. If I want to bend the note in an upward direction it goes from 64 to 127 if I want to bend it from in a downward direction it goes from 64 down to 0 now that we're on with that knowledge we can go back and take a look at the Axiom manual and this particular page tells me that if I want to program a linear control I have to use the number 144 and assign that to that particular linear control if I want to get a pitch bend. And the Axiom has a way of programming many messages that's you know unique to the way the Axiom works. And the way it programs is you have a series of what they call data bytes. Um, and in data byte 1 we're not going to put anything because there's a dash there. And data byte 2, I need to program in the minimum value that I want my slider to send um, in the pitch bend status message. And then I want to put in the maximum value in data 3. Okay, first thing I have to do is select the control and the slider is going to be number 17. Once that's chosen, then I'm going to assign it to 144, which tells it to do a pitch bin. Then I'm going to go to data 2, and I'm going to assign a minimum, let's say 58. And then I'm going to go to data 3, and oh, 78 is good. I'll leave it a maximum of 78. And now my slider is programmed to actually do pitch bin. Okay, let's see if it works. Looks good. Okay, the only problem with that is the uh, slider doesn't pop back into place. Um, so it's, it, it'll still be useful. I'll just have to practice with it a little bit. Next, I'm going to program the stop and play buttons. I had to take a look at the manual for the MV8800 in order to understand how to uh, send that uh, the proper MIDI messages for the stop and play button. And in order to program a MMC status MIDI message, the Axiom uh, manual tells me that is number 149, and the play button is number 35. I'm going to program assign 149 to this control. And then I'm going to set the device ID to number 127. This is all in the manual if you read it. And we go to data byte 2, set it to number 2. And my program, my play button is now a program. Oops, it's not playing. Oops. Um, I guess I haven't set this guy up. All right, if I go into the song menu and click on sync, um, I need to set the MMC mode, which stands for MIDI 
uh, machine control. Uh, right now the MV8800 thinks that it is the master. Instead I'm going to make it the slave to um, my MIDI controller. And now if I hit the play button it should work. Boom. Okay. Awesome. Now I need to set up the stop button. I'm going to do that real time here. Let's change it. Let's see. The stop button is number 34. And I need to set it to 149. And the device ID is 127. And the data is, I think it's number 1. And let's see if that works. Boom. Now that I've programmed this thing the way I like it, I'm going to have to save my work. And MIDI gives you this capability called uh, System Exclusive Dump. Um, System Exclusive is just another MIDI status message. Well, I'm looking at uh, the MV8800 and it has a MIDI recording sequencer capability. Um, I've added a track and that track will receive the system, system exclusive messages from my Axiom 49. First, I will start recording. Then, on the Axiom, you press the store and the recall, and you'll notice that it's doing a system exclusive dump, SYS, and now it's done. And if we go back and take a look, we can see that it recorded the system exclusive information. Go into the event list. And there it is, system exclusive. So that's a very powerful feature. Uh, anytime we'd like to recall the settings of any particular instrument, uh, we just basically would do a playback of the uh, system exclusive messages to the many devices that are connected, and they will restore the memory. To set MIDI time control mode in the MV8800, you go into song and hit the sync. Uh, menu and go into sync mode, change it to slave MTC MIDI, and then you're ready to and roll. I've already got a song that's in here. Notice that when I hit the play button on the uh, Casio, it actually is controlling my MV8800. And right now I'm going to change the tempo and you'll hear it speed up. Yeah, you'll notice that uh, this guy's moving a little bit faster. And when I change the tempo slower, you'll see that this guy is moving slower as well. So this is what MIDI time control can do for you. You can actually uh, program in your DAW, you can set up uh, MIDI time control and um, control your instruments, a uh, series of instruments and sequencers like the MV8800 all from uh, one workstation. at you this time but uh, rest assured that it didn't come easy for me either I had to look at all the manuals and spend a bunch of time trying to figure out how to make all this stuff work uh, hopefully I'll save you a little bit of time I appreciate you watching my name is Kenneth and I wish you peace